Hi guys, this is Abhi from Gokche Design. In this video, you're going to learn how to use frequency separation for skin retouching in Adobe Photoshop. Let's start by duplicating the background layer two times. Rename the first copy to low frequency skin coloring and the second copy to high frequency skin texture. With the low frequency layer selected, click on filter in the top menu and choose Gaussian blur from the blur dropdown. Since the blemishes are big, I'm going to choose a large radius value of around 30 pixels. With the high frequency layer selected, click on image in the top menu and choose apply image. Here we'll use the subtract blending mode to subtract the low frequency image from the original image. Choose the low frequency layer from the layer dropdown. For scale, select a maximum value of 2 and for offset, choose 50% gray, which is 128. Change the blend mode of the high frequency layer to linear light. Remember, linear light ignores 50% gray. Now the combination of the low frequency and the high frequency layer should result in the original background. You can test this by turning off the visibility of the background layer and you shouldn't see any difference. Select the low and high frequency layers and move them to a group. Rename the group to frequency separation. Duplicate the low frequency and the high frequency layers one at a time. Now hold the Alt or Option key and click right below the copy layer to clip them to the original layers. This will allow us to work non-destructively just on the copy layers without affecting the original layers. Next, click on the Mixer Brush tool in the left tools panel and make sure Load the Brush is unselected and Clean the Brush is selected. For Wet and Load, choose a value of 20%. And for mix and flow, choose a value of 10%. With the low frequency copy layer active, slowly paint over the blemishes and the blotchy skin until you're happy with the results. Now make the high frequency copy layer active and start painting over the blemishes. Feel free to make multiple passes to your liking. You can also switch back and forth between the low and high frequency copy layers to prevent going overboard on one layer. Next, hold the Command Option Shift and press E to create a stamped copy of all visible layers. Rename this layer to Spot Heal. Now you can select the Spot Healing brush from the Tools panel to paint over any remaining blemishes. Make sure to use a hard round brush with Content Aware selected. Next, duplicate the Spot Heal layer and rename it to Smooth Skin. Right click and convert to Smart Object so we can apply some filters. Click on filter in the top menu and choose high pass from the other dropdown. For radius, I'm going to select a value of 15 pixels and then click OK. Click on filter one more time and this time choose Gaussian blur from the blur dropdown. For radius, I'm going to select a value of around eight and then click OK. Use the control or command I shortcut to add the invert adjustment and then change the blend mode of this layer to linear light. Hold the Alt or Option key and click on the layer mask button to create an inverted mask. With the foreground color set to white, choose the brush tool from the tools panel and change the flow to 5%. With the soft round brush selected, slowly paint over the areas where you would like to reveal smoother skin. Remember, in the context of layer mask, white reveals and black conceals. Feel free to adjust the opacity slider to your liking. From the new adjustment layer menu, choose curves and rename the layer to dodge. Bring the curves line up a bit to lighten the image. Select the layer mask and use the control or command I shortcut to invert it. Bring in one more curves adjustment and this time rename it to burn. Bring the curves line down a bit to darken the image. Use the command or control I shortcut to invert the layer mask. With the foreground color set to white, select the brush tool from the left menu and slowly paint over the model's image to darken it selectively. Repeat these steps for the dodge layer 
to lighten the image selectively. Finally, let's look at the before and after images. Looks good to me. Make sure you like, subscribe and turn on the notification bell. Until next time.